Um, for this, we're using some mosaic trebles, and because of that, it's recommended using a hook half a size larger than the one you've been doing before. Um, and just to point that on the um, chart that you've got, each row accounts to two rows of crochet. So um, with this, then, we are starting with um, yarn A, which for me is the cream, and we've done a row of 37 chains, and then we get onto actual row one, um, which is quite simply UK double crochets, and you start in the second chain from the hook. So, you can see I've missed that first one. And we're going to just quietly work our way all the way along here in the cream and obviously I won't make you watch me do the whole row um, so we'll just go to the end of this row of double crochet and then turn um, and we'll come back in just a moment and just quickly discuss row two okay okay so we've finished row one and you've got this so a wiggly worm looking thing here and we are now starting row two which is the wrong side so you do a one chain which doesn't count as a stitch um, in this particular instance and then turn in the work and we need to start working into the very first stitch because you've got to make sure that you've got the right number um, at the end so we are now going to work another, in total, 36 double crochets across here and the, so that's the UK double crochet where you go into your hole, grab, bring back through, round and through two. When you get to the very end into that 36th stitch, you then need to change yarn and join in yarn C, which for me is the lovely antique gold colour because that starts off the desert floor. So we'll see you again at the end of the row and make sure you've got your right stitch count and your right colour change. So we'll be back again in just a moment. Okay, so here we are at the end of row two. I've done a quick stitch count there to make sure that I've got my 36 stitches. And as you can see, I've cut off the cream and I'm now started with the gold. Um, so I'll pause it there and we'll be back in a moment with the next row. Right, here we are with row three. Um, now, it's, this is gonna be rows three to eight basically you do your one chain and then you start your crocheting right at the beginning of the row because the one chain does not count as a stitch so we're going to work our way all the way across check you've got your 36 stitches at the end not including that one chain at the beginning and then you turn and you do another one chain and a row of double crochet. So rows three to eight are identical. You just keep working rows of double crochet all the way up. When you get to the end of row eight, you need to change color. So check for you, it's going to be yarn B, so check which is yarn B for you and have that ready at the end of row eight to do the final pull through on the final stitch. So we'll be back in a moment and we will join you with the next row after that. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the end of row eight. Don't fasten off the gold yarn. Um, we will be using that as we go further up. So joining in at the end of here with um, yarn B, which for me is the sage colour. So this is the wrong side of the work and that's where you need to be by the end of row eight. We'll join you again very shortly um, with row nine. Okay. Okay, so row nine, we turn the work and start with a chain of one. 
Um, then we've got one double crochet into the first stitch and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to miss four stitches. One, two, three, four and work into the fifth and we're just doing one double crochet there and then we're going to repeat that bit again. One, two, three, four, five chain, miss one, two, three, four stitches and double crochet into the fifth stitch. Then a chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, miss five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, so I'm going into the sixth stitch and we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, so that's one, two, three, four, another chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, miss five, one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> I'm sure some of you will see the pattern forming here and the combinations of stitches, so I've got a double crochet into the next stitch, then I'm going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, miss four, one, two, three, four, working into the fifth one, I'm going to do a double crochet and then I'm going to do another chain of five, two, three, four, five, miss four, one, two, three, four, and then work, did I do that right? One, two, one, two, three, oh no, I thought that was wrong. I only missed three stitches, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So then you've got your combinations of chain spaces and double crochets and then four double crochets in the middle. So that's row nine. I'm going to pause there for a moment and we'll come back with row ten. <clears throat> okay, so row ten. Turn the work and do a one chain and then we're working one double crochet into the same coloured double crochet on the row below. Then you need a chain of five, two, three, four, five, a double crochet into that double crochet on the row below and another chain of five another double crochet into the one on the previous row. So you're stacking them up on top of one another. Then chain of six, four, five, six, <clears throat> and then a double crochet into each double crochet, the green ones on the row below. So that's two, three, four, Another chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, a double crochet into the one on the row below, a chain of five, three, four, five, double crochet there, and then another chain of four. Five and one double crochet into the top of the final one. So this is the um, wrong side of the work but that's how we should look at the end of row 10. Okay we'll see you in a moment with row 11. Okay so here we are, we've changed to um, the gold 
and this is where we run them up the side again so you won't be um, cutting things off at the moment. So we do a one chain and a one double crochet into the first stitch and then mosaic trebles, so these are UK trebles remember, so you've got your three loops on your hook, round and through two, round and through two and make sure that as you're doing this you're going into the front through to the back but you're also pushing the green out of the way. That's just going to run really nice and neatly along the back of the work. So we're doing four mosaic trebles in this bit. So you've done your double crochet there and then four mosaic trebles and then a double crochet into the top of the green stitch there. and then we're doing another four mosaic trebles one a double crochet into the top of the green. I don't seem to be getting green yet. I'm just fighting with me a little bit here. Um, okay, then we're on to five mosaic trebles. So one, two, three. and five and then we're at the center point here so it's slightly different we are working um, one double crochet into the next stitch then a chain of three then we're missing two stitches and working into that third one so that's where you've got those four stitches in the center so we've used two of them we're now going to do five mosaic trebles so one two three four five a double crochet four mosaic trebles so one two three Four, a double crochet, another four mosaic trebles, one, two, three. and ending with a double crochet. So that's how you are wanting to look at the end of row 11. Okay, uh, don't break any of the yarns off and we'll be back in a moment with row 12. Okay, so here we are, we are back with row 12. So that's a one chain and you're doing a double crochet now into all of the stitches that you've just worked. So that's 17 double crochets will take you to the centre point where you have the chain of three. So when you get to the middle 
then you work a chain of three and then another 17 double crochets along the other side. Um, I've just a small amount more to do to get to the centre so I'll complete this little bit and then show you how it looks just so that you're comfortable with what you're working. So I've got stitch number 17. You can see there how I've done a stitch in every one across there. Okay, then it's a chain of three. Miss your chain space there and then start to work your 17 double crochet. Um, I won't make you watch me do the final 17, that seems a bit pointless. So if I just turn that around, you'll, you'll see where you go in with this. So you've got 17 here, a chain of three, and then another 17 to the end. Just make sure you've got the right number before you finish. And don't forget to rejoin the green yarn at that point. Okay, we'll see you in a moment with row 13. Okay, so here we are with row 13. This has got quite a bit going on, so we're going to do this slowly. So one chain, which doesn't count as a stitch, and one double crochet into that same place. Okay, two chain, miss a stitch, and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Chain of four, miss three, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So that's one, two, three, four. Four chains. Miss three. So one, two, three. One double crochet into the next stitch, four chain, four. miss three, one, two, three, and wonderfully that takes me to the middle in which we're going to do two mosaic trebles. So we know we're right so far. Okay. So now we're working back across the other side. So a chain of four. We're going to miss three stitches. So that's the one, um, the double crochet there. One, two, three. And we're working a double crochet into the next stitch. And then another chain of four. And one, two, three, which we're going to miss. And a double crochet into the next stitch and then a double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. So that's the four that match the four at the other side. Chain of four, miss three and a double crochet into the next stitch a chain of two, miss a stitch and a final double crochet in at the end for some reason. We're having a little fight. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. So that's what you have at the end of row 13. So just work across that slowly. Also you can double check that against what you've got on your chart and it should show where they're starting as well. Okay, we'll see you again in a moment at the end of, at the beginning, sorry, of row 14. Okay. Okay, so we're back with row 14. Uh, again, this is quite an intense one, so work through it slowly. We've got one chain to start with and a one double crochet as we start all the rows for this. Then two chain, miss two chain space, and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Then four chain, miss the four chain space 
and work four double crochets into those four double crochets on the row below. Chain of four, a double crochet into the next stitch and another chain of four and then we should be at the center which we are and two double crochet sorry yeah two double crochet one into each stitch chain of four then one double crochet into the double crochet on the row below oops and another chain of four and then a double crochet there plus an additional three double crochets one two three chain of four one double crochet into the next stitch and a chain of two and then the final double crochet at the end. So you've worked sort of the same combination as on the row below. So every double crochet on the row below has a double crochet on this row and it's just a matter really of getting your, your chains correct on this one. So I um, hope that's helped and we'll be back again shortly to do row 15. Okay, so we're now on row 15. I'd forgotten I needed to change at the end of the last row. So we're back on the um, gold yarn now. So one chain and one double crochet into that last stitch, our first stitch, sorry. Now we're going to do our first mosaic treble there into that stitch two rows below and then a double crochet into the top of the next stitch and then three individual mosaic trebles. double crochet into the first of that set of four. Then we're going to chain three. We're going to miss those middle two stitches and do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then three mosaic trebles. One. Then a double crochet. Just checking where I am on my pattern. And another three mosaic trebles. One. Then we have three chain. You're going to miss those middle two stitches and we've got another three mosaic trebles to work. Oops, missed a stitch there. Let's just go back one. Okay, I didn't start one far enough over. So one, two, three, there. There we go. <clears throat> Quite easy to, to miss, as you can see, but we only have two stitches being carried through there. Those are um, 
for the cactus. I say stems. I'm not quite sure if that's the correct term, but that's what I'm going to use. Then a double crochet in the next stitch and another three mosaic trebles. One, two, three. Then we're doing a double crochet, three chain, miss two stitches and work another double crochet and then we have three more mosaic trebles to work. One, two, three, a double crochet, a mosaic treble, and a double crochet. So here where you have these chains this is where you're going to be working mosaic trebles in the green to keep the, um, the cactus running upwards. Okay that's the end of row 15 and we'll join you shortly with row 16. Okay row 16. Start with a one chain and we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a chain of three and we're going to miss the three chain that's there and then we're going to work eight double crochet. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another three chain. Miss the three that are there and work another eight double crochet. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, a chain of three, and then seven double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven and this time remembering to change to the other yarn which for me is the green. So there you go that's what we've got at the end of that one and if I just show you the other side that's what you'll have on the right side. Okay we'll join you again shortly with row 17. Okay so here we are with row 17. So one chain and one double crochet in the first stitch. Chain of three. I'm going to miss two stitches and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Then a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Miss three stitches and then a mosaic treble into the next two. Then another chain of four. I'm going to miss three stitches, so that's one, two, three, and do a double crochet in the next stitch. Then a chain of five. Oops, one, two, three, four, five. Miss four stitches and work 
two and say trebles. One. Make sure you work them into the double crochet and you don't go too far down. Then, let's see if we've got this right. Stand. So, um, we're now going to make the arms of the um, cactus. That was the bit that just confused me for a moment there. So we've we've worked the two mosaic trebles, and then we're going to work a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And it might just feel a little bit wrong to start with, but you'll see where we're going with it shortly. Then two chain, miss a stitch and work a double crochet and then a chain of four, miss three stitches, so them three and then a mosaic crochet into the next two green stitches that you've got and then a chain of four miss three stitches, so uh, one, two, three, and then we work one double crochet in the next stitch, a chain of three, and a double crochet into your final stitch. So there's one or two on there that feels slightly weird. Also, don't forget that there is a stitch there, so that's the one, two, three that you're missing at that point. It's quite easy to miss that stitch and end up one stitch too far on. So, there we go. So here we've started to work the arm of um, the cactus. So I hope you uh, find that one useful, and we'll join you again with row 18. Okay, row 18. So as before, one chain and one double crochet. Then we've got a chain of three. Miss your three chain space and work a double crochet into that first green double crochet. Chain of four. Miss your chain of four and work two double crochet into the stitches on the row below. A chain of four. Miss your four chain space and one double crochet into there. And two chains. You miss that space there. And then we're working five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. And that is the trunk puss part of the arm. And then a chain of five. Miss your five chain space and work a double crochet. Then a chain of four and a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Chain of four. Missy four chain space and work a double crochet. Oops. And then a chain of three. Miss your three chain space. Then work in your double crochet into the final one. Not forgetting to change your yarn for that final pull through on that final stitch. So this is how we look 
on the back and then if I turn it over that gives you an idea how the front should look. So you've got your two other cactus going on here and your main one with its arm started at that point. Okay, we'll see you again in a moment with the next row. Okay, here we are with row 19. So as normal, one chain and one double crochet into the first stitch. Then we've got two mosaic trebles. That's one, two, and one double crochet into the next stitch. Three mosaic trebles into the next three stitches. Then three chain and we're going to miss those two stitches and start the mosaic trebles just after that. So we need to do three. One, a double crochet into the next stitch and four mosaic trebles, one into each of the next four stitches. Then a chain of three and we're going to miss two stitches and then work three double crochets. Oh, no, sorry, beg your pardon, we're not. We're only doing one. Because we've still got part of the arm to work. So we're going to do a chain of three. See, I'm getting carried away. I'm going to miss those two. And then work a mosaic treble into the next stitch. And that's as where we're going to work part of the upright part of the arm there. Um, a double crochet into the next stitch and then three mosaic trebles here. See why you need to take your time because it's quite easy um, to lose concentration just for a moment and end up working stitches that you shouldn't as I just proved. <laughs> um, then a chain of three Miss two stitches and a mosaic treble into each of the next three. So that's one, two, got a little knot there. So if you get a little knot like that, just very, very carefully pull that out, and the knot disappears. I know if you're quite new to crochet, sometimes things like that can be quite sort of scary <laughs> when you see them for the first time, but they do unravel quite easily. Um, then we've got a double crochet and then two more mosaic trebles. One. Two, and then a final double crochet into that one. So just remember here in the middle that we've just got the one double crochet going there, not three. Um, and this way you've got the stem and the arm starting to appear. 
Okay, we'll see you in a moment with the next row. Okay, so here we are with row 20 and we're going to do a one chain and a one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Three, oops. Seven. then a chain of three, miss this chain of three and then do a double crochet into each of the next five stitches. This is the arm of one of the cactus. Two, three, four, five. Then we have another three chain and one double crochet into the next stitch and another three chain. Miss the three and then work a double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then a chain of three, miss three chain space there and one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches, two, three, four, five, six, this is number seven and not forgetting that we're at the end of the row and we need to change to the other yarn. So that's how we're looking from the back and then that's how we're looking from the front. Okay, so we'll pause there for a moment and see you in the next row. As usual we start with a one chain and a double crochet into that first stitch. Then we've got a chain of five, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Miss four, one, two, three, four, and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then a mosaic treble into the next two. And then a double crochet into each of the next two. So that's starting the arms of the first of the cacti on that side. Then we're doing a four chain. We're going to miss three and we're going to work a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then a mosaic treble into the next two. Two, and then two chain, miss a stitch and we're working mosaic trebles into the next two. A chain of four, miss three stitches, one, two, three, so we're working into the fourth, a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. A, a mosaic treble, not a double one. <laughs> Get a bit carried away there. So that's a mosaic treble into the next two stitches and then a double crochet into the next two 
followed by a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. And then miss four. One, two, three, four. We're back at the other end and we're doing a double crochet. And in a moment we will turn. So there you go, we've started the arms now of the other two of the cacti. So we'll see you in the next row in just a moment. Okay, row 22. So as usual, the one chain and the double crochet. Then we've got a five chain. Five. Miss the five chain um, that you worked on the row below and do a double crochet into the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, then a chain of four, miss the four chain space and work a double crochet into both of the next two stitches and then two chain miss the chain space and one double crochet into the next five stitches <coughs> chain of four one double crochet into each of the next six stitches Oops. two three four five six A chain of five and Double crochet at the end, remembering that you need to change your yarn as you do that. Okay. So you can see how it's building up really nicely now. <coughs> That's your right side. So we'll be back in a moment with the next. Oh, okay. Okay, one chain, one double crochet into that first stitch and then a mosaic treble into the yellow row of the next four stitches. One, two, Three, four. Then it's two chain, miss a stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, chain three, miss two stitches, double crochet into the next stitch, then a chain of two miss a stitch and we're going to make work mosaic trebles into the next three stitches so that's one two three then a chain of three we're going to miss two stitches and work a double crochet into the next one and then another chain of three miss two stitches and then one mosaic treble making sure that you're working into the right stitch on the right row Oops, another chain of three. Miss you two stitches there and we're working mosaic trebles 
into those next three yellow stitches. Okay, so that's where you've got to so far. Then a chain of two, miss a stitch and work a double crochet into your next stitch, chain three, miss two stitches and work a double crochet into your next stitch, chain two, miss that stitch and work four mosaic trebles. One, two, three, and four, and then a double crochet into the end. <clears throat> so at the end of row 23, that's how you should be looking. Okay, I'll join you again in just a moment. Okay, row 24. So we start with a one chain and then we're going to do one double crochet into the next five stitches. Two, three, four, five. Two chain. Miss your two chain space and work a double crochet into the next stitch and then three chain, miss the three chain space and one double crochet into the next stitch and then two chains, miss your two chain space and we're going to work three double crochets, one into each of the next three stitches. Then we've got a chain of three One double crochet into the stitch on the row below, another chain of three and the same again and then another chain of three and one double crochet into the next stitch plus then another double crochet into each of the following two stitches because you do have a set of three there. Okay. Two chain, miss your two chain space and work a double crochet and then we've got three chains, miss your three chain space and work another double crochet. Getting a little bit snarled up there. And then we've got a final two chain, miss your two chain space, and a double crochet into each of the next. five stitches and then remembering to change your yarn at the end of it. So that's what we have there. I'll just turn it over for you so you can see it from the front and how it should look. Hopefully you've got that. Um, and we'll see you in a moment in the next row. Okay, so here we are with row 25. So we've got a one chain and a double crochet at the beginning. <clears throat> then a five chain, three, four, five. Then we're going to miss those four stitches and work a mosaic treble. I remember to wrap. Mosaic treble into the next stitch. Then two chain, miss a stitch and work mosaic trebles into the next two stitches.
then two chain, miss a stitch and work another mosaic treble. <coughs> And then a chain of four and miss three stitches and I'm going to work two mosaic trebles here. Then we've got two chain, miss a stitch and work the mosaic treble into the next two and then two chain, miss a stitch and work your mosaic trebles into the next two again then a chain of four miss these three stitches and a mosaic treble into the next stitch two chain and then miss a stitch a mosaic trebles then into the next two stitches Two chain, a mosaic treble into that next green stitch, so we're missing the yellow one, and then a chain of five, and a double crochet into the last stitch. And this is what you want <coughs> at the end of that row. So we'll join you again in a moment with row 26, but hopefully you can really now see um, how the cactus are, are created. Okay, see you in the next one. Okay, so here we are with row 26. So we've got a one chain and a one double crochet into that first stitch as normal. Then a chain of five, Five. Miss your five chain space and work one double crochet in there. Then we've got two chains. Miss your two chain space and work a double crochet into the next two stitches. Another two chain one double crochet into the next, oops, into that next stitch. You can see now how I've moved the yellow out of the way because for now I don't really need that row. Um, then we've got a chain of four, miss the chain space there and work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two chain miss your two chain space and one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then repeat that again so we've got a two chain and a double crochet into each of the next two stitches then a chain of four, one, two, three, four, miss your chain of four and work into the, uh, the treble from the low row below with the double crochet, so that's one double crochet, two chain and then two individual double crochets into the next two stitches, two chain one double crochet and five chain and then your double crochet into the end and this time we are about to change yarn colour because we're going from the desert sands to the blue sky so for me that is the cloud 
so it's yarn J um, and we're just going to put that into the final pull through instead of the mustard and we can now chop the mustard off. So there we are, that's what you'll have there and if I just push that back that's your completed rows. Okay, we'll join you again in a moment with the next row. Okay, so we're starting row 27 um, and now using the blue yarn. So as before, we do one chain. Because I've changed yarn, I've done one chain with the tail. Um, and I think that's just a good way of securing what you're doing and then we're going to do a double crochet as before into that first stitch. Right, we're now working mosaic trebles so we're going to work four into the uh, yellow or sandy coloured row so one, two four, then two chain, miss a stitch and work a mosaic treble into this row. Make sure you go into the stitch and not the chains. And then three chains and we're going to miss two stitches and work our mosaic treble into there. So get into the yellow row. Then two chains and one mosaic treble into each of the next three stitches. So that's again the three mustardy coloured stitches for me. Chain of three, miss two stitches and work into that third one. Another chain of three your next two stitches and work into that third one. Oops. There we go, we can show we come out in front of the green stitches. And then another chain of three and we're working another one just to the side again and this time we're going to carry on and work another two mosaic trebles. Then two chain, miss a stitch, and do your mosaic treble, and then three chain, miss two stitches, and work another mosaic treble, and then two chain and we're working mosaic trebles into the next four. One, two, three, four, and as always a double crochet into that final stitch to anchor it at the end. So <clears throat> that's how you want to look at the end of this row. Okay, join you again for the next one in just a moment. Okay, so here we are with row 28. We're going to do a one chain and a one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So, 
five, then two chain, and then we miss two chain space and do one double crochet into the next stitch. Then three chain, miss those three and work a double crochet into the next stitch and then two chain and then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three, then three chain, miss those chains and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Another three chains and another double crochet and another three chains and a double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then two chain, miss the two chain space and work a double crochet into the next stitch. Then three chains, one double crochet into the next stitch. And then two chains and one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So that's one. Two, three, four, and we get to the fifth one, and not forgetting we need to change the yarn. So there we are, that's where we are <coughs> the end of that row. And if we turn it over, that's how you're looking from the front. Okay back in a moment with row 29. Okay, so um, for rows 29 and 30 you are basically repeating the same instructions as for rows 25 and 26. So I won't record all that again, I don't think there's any real point for you. Um, but what I have done here is started with my one chain and just don't forget that you're always starting to anchor that first one with a double crochet in the first one. So I'll come back at the end of row 30 which will be the same as doing row 26 and I'll show you where we've got to just so that you've got a reference and then we'll pick up again on row 31. Okay. Okay so this is how we look after the um, rows 29 and 30 which is repeating rows 25 and 26. So now we're on to row 31 and I've already joined in my yarn. So I'm doing a one chain and a one double crochet into the first stitch. We're then going to work four mosaic trebles into the four blue stitches. One, two, three, and four. Then we've got one double crochet into the next stitch because that um, of the cactus is now done. Then we've got a mosaic treble into the next stitch. For some reason my green yarn is snagging itself up. Um, there we go. And then um, three chain and we're going to miss those two stitches and work a mosaic treble into blue stitch of the row below. That's how we are with that one. Then we have a double crochet into the next stitch 
and then I'm going to say treble into these three stitches again on the blue row. That's below, so that's one, two, three, then a chain of three, miss two stitches and work a mosaic treble into that row below and then another chain of three miss two stitches and work another mosaic treble then a double crochet into each of the next two Finishes off the arm of that one and then a mosaic treble into each of the next three stitches. And then a double crochet into the next stitch and a mosaic treble into the stitch after that two rows down okay and then a chain of three miss two stitches and a mosaic treble there and then a no, it's a double crochet. I'm getting carried away there. We need a double crochet now, which finishes off the other arm of the cactus. And then four mosaic trebles. One. my fourth stitch there. So that's four mosaic trebles there and then a double crochet into the final stitch. And there you can see we're starting to finish off um, some of the arms of some of the cactus on there. Okay we'll join you again in a moment for row 32. Okay, row 32. So we start with one chain and then one double crochet into the next seven stitches and these are the blue stitches of the row below. So that's two, three, four, five, Seven, three chain, miss your three chain space, and then we're working eight double crochets. So one, two, three, four. And you can see how you're building up on the row below there. Then three chain, miss your two chain space and work a double crochet. That's into the stitch of the row below. Then another three chain, miss three chain space and work a double crochet and then work another four double crochet. Right next to it, one, two, three, four. Again, you should have a stitch for every one. Three chain, and one double crochet into each of the next seven. So one, two, three, four. 
five, six. Number seven should be when I find it in the last stitch. And of course, we are working mosaics, treble still, so we go back to a one uh, last slip through with the other colour. <clears throat> so when you have finished, it's probably best to show you this side. That's what you should have ended up with. Um, a lot fewer chains and a lot more stitches worked on that one. Okay, we'll be back in a moment with row 33. Okay, row 33. So we've got a one chain and a one double crochet into the first stitch. Then a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're missing all these stitches, so you're missing six in total and working a mosaic treble into what is the centre of the cactus. So you're working two mosaic trebles. Then work a chain of six. Two, three, four, five, six. Miss five stitches and work a mosaic treble into each of those next two stitches. Okay, then a two chain, miss a stitch and work into the next two. And then we have a chain of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're missing a total of eight stitches here. And then we're working two mosaic trebles. One into each of those next two green stitches. Two rows down. And then we work a final chain of seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Miss your six stitches, working one double crochet into that seventh stitch, which is right at the end. So that's where we are at that point. Um, we're back in a moment with row 34. Okay. Row 34. So we've got one chain and one double crochet. Then a chain of seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then a double crochet into each of the next two green stitches. Then we have a chain of nine. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and a chain of two, missing the two chain space there, and working a double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then a chain of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then finally we have a chain of seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and our final double crochet into the last stitch. And I have now cut off um, yarn B because the only bit of green that we're going to be carrying on is here in the middle so we're going to rejoin the yarn we're not going to try and um, do some massive loops across the back so we'll join you back in a moment with row 35 okay so 
so we've joined the blue yarn back in and we're doing one double crochet into our first stitch and then we're going to work a mosaic treble into the next six stitches so that's one two three Double crochet into each oops, is that one? of the next two stitches. So that finishes off the top of that one of the cacti. Then a mosaic treble into each of the next five stitches. So that's one, two, three. Five, then a double crochet into the two top of the two green stitches and a mosaic treble into the blue stitch two rows down then we're going to do a chain of three miss two stitches and a mosaic treble into the next eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's eight and then a double crochet into the top of the next two green stitches and then we have six mosaic trebles to work One, two three Oops, got the green there. Don't want to catch the green. Five and six. Very important that you don't loop up the stitches behind. And the final double crochet into the final double crochet of the row below. So that's how we look. From the front there you can see really the only chains we've got are these two in the middle everywhere else has got either a mosaic treble or a double crochet in place okay back in a moment with row 20 sorry 36 <laughs> okay row 36 lovely and easy it's a one chain and then you're basically going to work double crochets that's UK double crochets all the way along the row except for in the middle. So we've got 17 double crochets to work at this side, then a three chain space to do in the middle and then another 17 crochet at the other end um, and you're not changing colour at the end for the first time in quite a few rows. So just turn and we'll then do the next row. So I'll see you again very shortly. Won't let you uh, make you watch me do all those double crochets. See you again soon. Okay, for row 37, we do our usual one chain. And then we're going to be doing double crochets all the way to the little central gap. So we have got 17 of these to do, um, which won't take too long, and then when we get 
to the centre, you need to have a little bit of the green yarn on hand. Nearly there now. And when you get to the final double crochet just before, you then need to grab the green yarn, change it, oops, as we've done before, and then <coughs> we're going to work a, oh, I need to leave a little bit of length there, so we're going to work a mosaic treble into these two stitches. Don't worry if that feels a little bit loose, you can tighten it up gently um, afterwards. Now as we get to the final um, pull through of the back of here, we are changing back to, when I can find it, it's hiding from me, um, back to the blue yarn, um, which is yarn, yarn J yarn and then we're going to start working our double crochets again um, across the back just keep that green out of the way so you should have 17 stitches again at this side so you've joined in your two just to comp start completing that there is a little bit more to work don't break your green yarn off yet you will just need it for the next row so we'll be back in a moment at the end of this row, ready for row 38. Okay, so row 38 is super simple. It is all worked in UK double crochets all the way across. And as you get to the green stitches in the middle, going to do, as we've done on quite a few other rows where we change the yarn, just for those two stitches, but everything's worked in double crochet. Here we are at the centre, so before we do that final pull through, make sure this yarn comes to this side of the work, so that it ends up at the back of your work, not stranding across the front. Pull that final pull through in those. Do two double crochet in the green, bringing this strand again to the back, and then doing that final pull through on those and then making sure that your green yarn stays at the back of the work. You continue with the double crochets to the end. So what you've got there in the middle is just that final little bit of the top. It's the same way up as normal. So you've got those final two stitches there um, and then you can fasten off this green yarn and sew your ends in on that. So we'll come back in a moment, I'll show you the end of the row um, and this, do the sewing in and things. So we'll see you in a moment. Right, so rows 39 and 40 are really simple. It's just a chain at the beginning and then a double crochet all worked in um, this lovely soft blue all the way to the end. So two rows of double crochet still using your thicker hook. So for me that's the four and a half mil hook. So I'll let you work those couple of rows and I'll join you for row 41. Okay. Okay. So this is how the back will look at the end of that row, row 38, with just these little extras here. I'm just going to take a minute now to sew these ends in, because as you know I don't like them floating around while I'm trying to work. Um, so we'll do that and then we'll be right back with row um, 39. 
Okay, so at um, the end of row 40, that's what you would have. And we're about to start rows 44 and we need to remember to change hook. So I'm putting the fatter hook to one side and going for my formula hook, which is the thinner one for the one I'm doing. Use whichever's right for the design you're working on. And really simple the next few rows. Each one is a chain of three and one treble into the next stitch. So remember the chain of three actually counts as your first stitch um, and you don't want to lose or gain one so that's why I've not worked into that first stitch there that chain of three is counting that one so basically these next four rows are all worked doing um, UK trebles along the row with the smaller hook so when you get to the end of the final row you do need to change yarn colour and then be ready to work the border so we'll see you again in a few minutes um, at the end of row 44. Okay. So this is how we look at the end um, of doing the rows of the square just before we get onto the border. So you've started with yarn A, whatever colour that is for you, worked through the desert section and into the sky. So at the end here I have rejoined with yarn A and we'll be back in a minute to sort the border. Okay. Okay, sunshine is a lovely simple one to do. So using yarn C, which for me is the antique gold, I'm going to do a magic loop like so. And then I'm going to do a chain of four. Two, three, four. Don't forget for this you need to be crocheting over the two strands, not the single strand. So with this we're doing 16 double trebles. So that's where you wrap twice, go into your magic loop, bring some yarn back through, round and through two, round and through two, round and through two. And you keep repeating that until you've got 16. Um, now on this particular one the chain of four is not being counted as one of the stitches so these 16 are in addition to that chain of four. Um, and what we'll have at the end of this is just a really lovely little circle to add on. Now I will just finish this off because it's barely worth stopping and starting the video um, for these. We've got two, I've lost count, so ignoring that one. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's ten. Oops. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There we go, and then you pull the tail, and that brings it round and you can make that hole as as tight as you feel is appropriate um, for this and then slip stitch to join there. So you've got this really cute little circle. Um, I'm just going to cut the yarn off and pull that through and then here is my square and then I'm going to stitch that on just about there. And so sorted all the ends out so tie those ends off sew them in but don't cut them off until you've sewn it onto your square now if you've got a different sunshine that you prefer by all means use that 
as we've said in one or two of the other videos, please do embellish them as you wish. You might want to add little animals, extra cacti, maybe some flowers, just whatever you want. You go for it. Uh, really personalise it and we'll love to see what you actually do with yours. Okay, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, so the border is worked in the same way that we've worked the other borders. So um, we've got one chain which doesn't count as a stitch and then we miss that first stitch and we work a slip stitch into the next stitch and then we work a chain of three. That counts as your first treble. We're then going to work two trebles into the same hole and then we're going to miss two stitches and work into the third one and again we're working another three trebles and we're going to continue doing that so miss two work into the third one we're going to do that all the way across and then we'll turn and work a corner and start going down the sides so we'll come back in a moment with working the side okay see you in a moment okay so i've finished the top and i've got all my sets of three there and then we're going to turn so we haven't worked into that that final um stitch there that's one spare we need that one and I've done a two chain at the end and then what I've done here is mark where I'm going to work 12 groups of trebles evenly down you tend to forget this one here because it's going to be the same color as um, the border that you're working but really you need to work your last one I think into that one so all these places are where I'm going to work a set of three trebles um, it is a little bit tricky to work them with the stitch marker in so if you take each one out as you come to it I mean this is the way I like to work it you don't have to do it that way but I just feel it's so much more pleasurable to do the crochet if you've worked it out evenly down the side and you need to work 12 sets so it's relatively easy to work that evenly out down the side so I'll continue to work down the side and then pick up again across the bottom um, and just give you an idea of where I'm going to work there um, and we'll see you again in a moment at the bottom of this this row and at the corner okay so those are my nice 12 sets of stitches going down the side. I'm quite happy with how that's turned out and I'm now going to do a two chain, miss the first stitch and work a treble into the second one and as before I'm working into the other side of the chain that I created when this was first worked so it does look a little bit stretched at times while you're doing it. It does even out when you've finished. So miss two, work into your third one. So it's exactly the same theory as working across the top, it's just you're working into the loop at the bottom. If you've got a slightly different method to how you like to work this type of row across the bottom, please feel free to use it. Um, it's your piece of crochet and you need to be happy. So I'm going to carry on and work my 12 sets of three trebles across the bottom and then we'll meet up for the last corner and look at the spacing down the other side. Okay, so this is how we look at the end of this row and I've done my two chain and as you can see I've marked out where I'm planning to work my um, sets of three trebles. 
so again I think it's a particularly good idea on this end so that you can make sure you tuck in all those little changes of yarn at the bottom so I will be starting here and as I start I remove that and do my trebles so one Three. As I said before, you space them out as you feel it looks best on your piece of crochet. Um, so I shall carry on to the end and then show you how I look with this at the end of round one. Okay, we'll see you again shortly. So, here we are at the end of the first round for the border. As you can see we've got nice evenly spaced um, sets of three trebles going all the way around to the bottom. So on the next one we keep the same yarn so don't cut your yarn off or anything and we'll be back in a moment with round two. Okay so for round two we turn the work and do a chain of three. Oops. One, two, three. That counts as the final stitch on this side here. So we're actually going to be working in the opposite direction and we're doing two trebles into the corner and one chain and another two trebles. And then as we've done on previous borders we're going to work a treble into each stitch to the end and we're going to repeat that all the way round. So it's a treble into every side stitch and then every corner has two trebles, one chain and another two trebles worked into the same stitch all the way around till we get back to here. Um, and then I recommend you just do a quick count up of your stitches to make sure you're, well, you should be right. Um, because then we uh, will need to start doing some joining of the main squares very shortly. Um, we've just a little sunshine to make next, so we'll come back in a moment, show you this finished edging and then go on to make the sunshine. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the end with all of the corners and everything worked. Um, I've finished off my yarn here and just cut that off. I've just got the end to sew in. So this is the look that you're going for, um, for that one. And I'm going to create the sun in just a moment to, to pop here. So I hope you've enjoyed this one so far. It's a little bit trickier than some of the others, but I think definitely worth the effort. So we'll see you in a moment with the sunshine. <laughs> 